Hello and welcome to this special broadcast on DD India, hashtag tracking COVID-19. Your one-stop destination for all that you need to know on COVID-19, the top national and international updates and ground reports filed by our correspondents from different parts of the country. I'm Anand Bhattacharya. Let's get started with the headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi asserts we need to move away from darkness and uncertainties of coronavirus urges all to light a candle, lamp or torch after turning off the lights at 9pm on the 5th of April for 9 minutes. Appeals to all to not cross boundaries of social distancing. Active coronavirus cases in India increases to 2,088 with 56 deaths and 156 recoveries. Health Minister inspects readiness at Ram Manohar Loya Hospital in Delhi expresses confidence that India will surely win this fight against coronavirus. Health Ministry urges people to use the Arogya Setu app, calls it an effective tool for tracking corona patients. 415 new Mondays being added to Enam platform to effectively promote social distancing. Number of novel coronavirus infections cross 1 million across the globe. Over 2 lakh people recover, while over 54,000 succumb to COVID-19. After Italy, death toll in Spain nears 11,000 mark. And our top focus uh, is that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has stressed on the need to move away from darkness and uncertainties brought upon by the coronavirus pandemic in his address to the nation this morning. And to this end, the Prime Minister has requested citizens to switch off all the lights on the 5th of April at 9pm for 9 minutes and just light a candle, a dia or a mobile's flashlight to come together in our fight against coronavirus. Joy's Corona Sankar se सबसे ज्यादा प्रभावित हैं हमारे गरीब भाई बहन उन्हें कोरोना संकट से पैदा हुई निराशा से आशा की तरफ ले जाना है इस कोरोना संकट से जो अंधकार और अनिश्चितता पैदा हुई है उसे समाप्त करके हमें उजाले और निश्चितता की तरफ बढ़ना है इस अंधकार में कोरोना संकट को पराजित करने के लिए हमें प्रकाश के तेज को चारों दिशाओं में फैलाना है पांच अप्रैल को रविवार को रात नौ बजे घर की सभी लाइटें बंद करके घर के दरवाजे पर या बालकनी में खड़े रहकर नौ मिनट के लिए मोमबत्ती दिया टॉर्च या मोबाइल की फ्लैशलाइट जलाएं और उस समय यदि घर की सभी लाइटें बंद करेंगे चारों तरफ जब हर व्यक्ति एक एक दिया जलाएगा तब प्रकाश की उस महाशक्ति का एहसास होगा जिसमें एक ही मकसद से हम सब लड़ रहे हैं ये उजागर हो in his video message shared with the nation, the PM stressed upon community strength. He added that the entire nation is fighting as one. He said that this crisis has also displayed our collective national unity and this makes us even stronger to fight and defeat this menace. Some people think ये प्रश्न भी मन में आते होंगे कि कितने दिन ऐसे और काटने पड़ेंगे साथियों ये लॉकडाउन का समय जरूर है हम अपने अपने घरों में जरूर है लेकिन 
हम में से कोई अकेला नहीं है 130 करोड़ देशवासियों की सामूहिक शक्ति हर व्यक्ति के साथ है हर व्यक्ति का संबल है समय समय पर देशवासियों की इस सामूहिक शक्ति की विराटता इसकी भव्यता और इसकी दिव्यता की अनुभूति करना आवश्यक है Prime Minister Modi has appealed to citizens to avoid gathering anywhere during the conduct of this program. He added that people don't have to go out onto the streets or even in colonies, but do it from their respective doorsteps and balconies. इस आयोजन के समय किसी को भी कहीं पर भी इकट्ठा नहीं होना है रास्तों में गलियों में या मोहल्लों में नहीं जाना है अपने घर के दरवाजे बालकनी से ही इसे करना है सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग की लक्ष्मण रेखा को कभी भी लांगना नहीं है सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग को किसी भी हालत में तोड़ना नहीं है कोरोना की चेन तोड़ने का यही रामबाण इलाज है द हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री हैज इन्फॉर्म द एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्ट्री इज टेकिंग इनिशिएटिव्स टू इंश्योर सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग फॉर इंस्टेंस मोर मंडेज आर बीइंग लिंक्ड टू ई नैप मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर ने एग्रीकल्चर मार्केटिंग कमेटी में सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग और सैनिटरी मेजर्स को मेंटेन करने के अपने प्रयासों के तहत जो उनका एक ऑनलाइन पोर्टल है ई नैम दैट इज ई नेशनल एग्रीकल्चर मार्केट उसको लॉन्च किया है इस पोर्टल के तहत 16 राज्यों और दो यूनियन टेरिटरीज में जो पांच मंडियां हैं उनके अलावा और अतिरिक्त 415 मंडियों को भी जोड़े जाने का कार्यक्रम किया जा रहा है इसके तहत जो किसान मंडियों में जाने की बजाय वह फिजिकली बिना प्रेजेंट हुए अपनी हार्वेस्टेड प्रोड्यूस अपनी फसल को बेच सकते हैं मोबाइल बेस्ड टाइमली पेमेंट से डी कंजेशन को कम करने में और हार्वेस्टेड एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस के सीमलेस ट्रांसपोर्टेशन में भी इससे फैसिलिटेशन होगा यूनियन हेल्थ मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन टुडे विजिटेड दिल्ली राम मनोहर लोहिया हॉस्पिटल एंड सुपरवाइज द हॉस्पिटल अरेंजमेंट्स टू कम्बैट कोरोना वायरस ड्यूरिंग इज विजिट द मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो शोर इज ग्रेटिट्यूड टूवर्ड्स दफर्ट्स बींग मेड बाई डॉक्टर्स नर्सेज एंड हेल्थ वर्कर्स आप सब के ऊपर सारे देश को गर्व है और सारे देश की निगाहें आपके काम पर लगी हैं डॉक्टरों ने हमारे क्लिनिशियंस ने हमारे नर्सेज ने हमारे एपिडीमोलॉजिस्ट ने हमारे पब्लिक हेल्थ के एक्सपर्ट्स ने हमारा जो हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री में टेक्निकल एडवाइजरी ग्रुप है आई ने सबने मिलकर जिस प्रकार से पहले ही दिन से सलाह दी और सलाह देने के बाद जिस प्रकार से सब लोग मिलकर एक टीम के रूप में निरंतर काम कर रहे हैं उसी का शायद ये परिणाम है कि जिस कोविड 19 की आधी तूफान ने सारी दुनिया के अंदर एक प्रकार से तबाही मचा दी उसको हम भारत के अंदर कंट्रोल करने की स्थिति में मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि बहुत ही जल्दी भारत कोरोना के खिलाफ युद्ध में सफलता प्राप्त करेगा और सारा देश आपको मैं समझता हूं कि जिंदगी भर याद रखेगा आपका जो कंट्रीब्यूशन है जो आपका सेक्रीफाइस है उस पर देश को हमेशा गर्व रहेगा इसमें मैं समझता हूं कि किसी को भी कोई संदेह नहीं है Addressing a press briefing, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal urged the people of Delhi to adhere to lockdown and social distancing norms. Listen in. अभी घबराने की जरूरत नहीं है लेकिन 
जो प्रधानमंत्री जी ने लॉकडाउन का ऐलान किया हुआ इसको बहुत बखूबी से लागू करते रहना है सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग और लॉकडाउन का पालन करना है पूरी तरह से so let's now understand in greater detail uh, the kind of steps that india is uh, taking sector wise to fight covid-19 well the health ministry has issued a training advisory for health professionals let's uh, take a look at what really this advisory is meant for states have been advised for training of health workers at the field level and there are several sectors on which uh, this uh, training exercise is focusing there's surveillance there's clinical management there's management of isolation facilities and there's more we'll tell you about that for instance there is a training in quarantine psychosocial care logistics supply chain management so the training advisory focuses on all these aspects that the center has issued to various states aims is imparting continuous training in icu care and ventilator management so that is an ongoing exercise aims has been doing that for weeks now 30 lakh downloads of arogya setu app for tracing tracking and risk assessment has already taken place so if you have android or ios you can download that app and you can know if there is an infected person around you 415 mondays are being linked to enam online agri portal this is in addition to the existing mondays that are already linked and that number is 500 85 so 585 mondays are already linked to enam in 16 states and uts besides that 400 odd are now also being linked so this is what the agriculture ministry is doing for social distancing drdo has developed a bio suit with seamless glue for medical and paramedical staff so this sh should keep the medical and paramedical staff protected from being infected Health minister has appealed to patients and they keen to cooperate with health workers after reports of assaults and non-cooperation and discrimination against health workers came to the fore. So that's the appeal by the health minister. PM has also made that appeal several times. 157 corona positive patients have been cured so far so this is good news. They should also be focused on how people are being treated and cured. The MHA that is the home ministry has written to states for strict action against those assaulting health professionals that extremely important remember doctors and aims had also written to the health ministry sometime back asking for strict action against such offenders center has urged states to prepare for quick disbursal of benefits under pm garib kalyan yojana so that has been the constant uh, emphasis of the center that the states should implement uh, pm garib kalyan yojana at the earliest possible 960 foreigners linked to tablighi jamaat nizamuddin event have already been blacklisted this was an announcement made by the health ministry in the press conference the 960 such foreigners have been blacklisted they violated visa norms as they came to india on tourist visas and as they could not participate in any religious congregation which they did blacklisting process has been initiated against 360 foreigners who have returned from india so those who already left india against them the blacklisting process has been initiated those in india have been blacklisted already disaster management act and foreigners act being invoked against visa violators so we can expect more action with regard to those foreigners who were in india and had violated visa norms two helplines added to seven helplines in the mha control room so there are two more helpline numbers we'll tell you about that 1930 is the all india toll free number and 1944 is the helpline number that is meant specifically for the northeastern region besides that there are seven more numbers as we told you people can directly call helpline numbers of states and uts so there are several helpline numbers you may choose whichever helpline number you would like to uh, phone for uh, resolving your queries 182 laboratories are providing diagnosis for covid these are those uh, that have already been affiliated by the icmr there are 130 uh, government labs and 52 private labs out of those 182 labs that are there in the country that have the stamp of icmr 8000 samples the highest till date tested on thursday so yesterday was the day when the highest number of samples in india were tested for covid 19 8000 was that number besides that uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, how many samples have been tested in india till date that number is 66000 so 66000 samples have been tested by india till date and india is also thinking of re looking at its uh, testing criteria we'll tell you more about that guidelines for using rapid diagnostic tests may be released on saturday this is something that uh, we've been expecting for some time now those guidelines may be released on saturday primary purposes how to deploy these tests in high risk areas low risk areas hot spots etc so with focus being on uh, these areas uh, that uh, technique could uh, soon be out in terms of guidelines sampling criteria may be revised if needed so currently we know that there is uh, testing that is taking place following a particular criteria not everyone can be tested you have to be fit in that particular criteria to be able to be go in really for testing well so that's about how india is fighting covid-19 and due to the sudden rise in the number of covid-19 positive cases in rajasthan the lockdown is being strictly adhered to in the state but essential services are not affected by the lockdown here's a ground report by correspondent vishal baristo from jaipur 
With sudden spike in the number of positive figures is definitely a big concern for Rajasthan. The positive numbers have already crossed 160 mark. But the good news is out of 26 in Bhilwara, 17 have turned negative. The government is trying very hard but at the same time me and you, whatever religion we follow, we need to stay inside and follow the rules of the lockdown. If you have to pray, pray inside your house, pray for yourself, pray for the entire country. And also the essential commodities are being taken care of by the authorities. So sit back, relax and follow what the government has to say. With camera person Deepika, this is Vishal Beristo for DD India. And there are similar scenes in Kolkata too because lockdown continues in the city of Kolkata as well. The busy red road in Kolkata wears a deserted look. Our correspondent Anivrata takes stock of the situation from Bara Bazar area of Kolkata. Kolkata's Bara Bazar, among one of the largest wholesale market in Asia. Right at this point of time, we witness that Bara Bazar is simply observing the 21 days lockdown that the Prime Minister Narendra Modi had given call to the people of the country to observe. And the business community here in Barabaza didn't unroll the shutters of their shops and establishment since Prime Minister has given the call of 21 days lockdown. It's truly amazing. And the road, that is MG road, that is passes through Barabaza, here we find that the police is keeping an intensive look over the vehicles that are moving down this road one or two in number, Although they are inquiring where they are going, whether they have true justification to go or not, that they are inquiring. So they want to keep in force of the total lockdown that is there. One thing, another, you know, it's quite amazing is the fact is that they had the business community in Borobaza is truly responding to the Prime Minister's call and they have come generously to contribute to the Prime Minister's fund that is care, is specially made up to take care of this corona, uh, uh, you know, menace. With cameraman showed up there and Basudev Mondol, I am Anibrata Bhattacharya reporting for DD India from Kolkata. And the Maharashtra government has identified 30 hospitals across the state that will treat only coronavirus patients. There would be then around 2,305 beds across these hospitals for coronavirus patients. Our correspondent Shishu Shalar files this report from Mumbai. This is the market, I'm sure you, uh, especially in the afternoon, the entire market, it seems like uh, completely shut off here. Well, uh, in a normal time, we cannot walk on this market, but in now, uh, we have seen the situation here that the market is completely empty here. This kind of situation you can see everywhere in Maharashtra, but in spite of that, there are some places that people are not following the norms of social you know, distancing, and that's the reason government is taking tough action against them. And the government have also given a clear warning that those who will uh, will not follow those social distancing norms will be obviously be punishable uh, you know, under the act that government is implementing. That's the reason, uh, even though the government is appealing, government also appealing people that maintain the social distancing and stay at home and stay safe. For Delhi India, Shishila, Mumbai. So those were our ground reports and a media scan. Let's now take a look at what the world media has to say on COVID-19. Let's take a look at what the international dailies are carrying in terms of reportage on COVID-19 and also analysis related to it. Let's begin with the New York Times. On the home page, you see this headline, half the world is under stay home order and White House debates face masks. It gives further information and says that New York Governor Cuomo has said that New York could run out of supplies in days. What are the essential supplies that it is talking about? Well, it says that Governor Andrew Cuomo has warned that time was running out to find critical supplies, including the ventilators needed for the sickest patients. And that is why President Trump has said that he was invoking the Defense Production Act to help shore up supplies of masks. So that's about the New York Times. Let's take a look at uh, the Washington Post. And there's an interesting story here that says that experts and Trump's advisors now doubt White House's prediction of virus deaths. Leading disease forecasters whose research the White House used to conclude that there would be around 1 lakh to 2 lakh 40,000 people who will die as a result of coronavirus were mystified themselves when they saw the administration's projection this week. You read uh, further and uh, it says that White House officials have refused to explain how they generated the figure, a death toll bigger than the U.S. Uh, suffered in the Vietnam War or even in 9-11. They have not provided the underlying data. So others uh, can assess its reliability or provided long-term strategies to lower that death count. So there is a question mark as far as that death toll projection is concerned. Let's take a look at the Wall Street Journal. And here you see 
There's a report in the front page that says that U.S. employers cut 7,1,000 jobs in March. So it says that the March jobs report shows the start of a collapse that could shed all the U.S. jobs added by employers in the last past decade and push the unemployment rate to record highs. So that's about the economic situation. Now, the cases of COVID-19 pandemic are increasing by the day. The country is severely hit by this pandemic are Italy, U.S., Iran, France, and Germany. Here's how they are impacted by COVID-19. wrap of global developments related to COVID-19. Spain's coronavirus death toll has crossed 10,000. A total of 932 people died from the disease in 24 hours, down from 950 people in the previous daily toll. The health ministry said that the number of registered cases rose to 1,17,710 on Friday, up from 1,10,238 on Thursday. It's absolutely critical for the American people to follow the guidelines for the next 30 U.S. President Donald Trump said that he underwent a second coronavirus test using a rapid diagnostic that produced a result in less than 15 minutes and it determined that he has not been infected. Trump announced his test results during a White House briefing. Trump announced plans for the U.S. military and federal personnel to operate a makeshift hospital set up in the Javits Convention Center in New York to help the city grapple with a flood of patients in his daily White House briefing. New York has become the epicenter of the U.S. epidemic with more than 47,000 confirmed cases in the city. NATO members agreed on Thursday to speed up deliveries of medical aid to allies suffering the most from coronavirus by assessing its airlift capacity and by matching its members' capacity and need for such equipment. Speaking after a video conference with military alliances, foreign ministers, Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said that NATO had already provided logistical support to its members over the past few days through its support and procurement agency, its strategic airlift international solution and strategic airlift capability mechanisms. The come as NATO is scaling down military exercises in Europe to curb the spread of coronavirus. And with that, uh, we come to the end of uh, this edition of uh, Tracking COVID. Remember to keep washing your hands or use uh, sanitizers. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy.